Coming up next, it's a UFC bantamweight division fight. of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Chuck? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Knee to the body. Oh, nice right hand. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, massive kick to the body lands flush. Punch over the top. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of Ace. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. Oh, a lot oh, of knees, a oh, lot oh. of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take it back the longer this fight goes. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Punch is blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Great punch. Nice. Over and over, he landed his big body. Oh. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, big elbow. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Big knee to the body. Big punch lands. Ooh. Oh, connects with the one-two. Goes back to that left kick once again. Round two is next. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting. All right, round two. And he landed the right hand there. Throws the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, just digs into the box. Big shot in every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. And landing some nasty strikes. Oh, oh man. Man. He told us he was a Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Back to the feet. Kick right under that right elbow. That is it. He got it. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality, so if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, we take a look back at the replay, and not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. That was a massive...
massive body kick, snuck it right under the elbow. Once it landed, you knew the fight was about to be finished. So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO.